Welcome back to Snack Break, you beautiful snack faces. I'm Kaylee Harless, and today we're gonna to talk about 4th of July snacks. It's a great time for people like us who love snacks and we love trying new things. There are so many ridiculously flavored snacks that are specifically for 4th of July that I couldn't help myself. I had to buy them so we could try them out together. Let's get snacking. Our dear friends at Oreo are really pulling out all of the stops for this 4th of July. They have a special Oreo that is firework Oreo with popping candy. Okay, honestly, I haven't had an Oreo in a really long time and I don't even, like they didn't even have this packaging the last time I had it. Oh, okay. Let's see. Has some really fun icing in there. Red, white, and blue right in the center of this Oreo. Let's see. I forgot how much I love Oreos. Oh my God. Fireworks in my mouth right now. The little popping candy is going crazy. It's so fun. <laughs> it's the classic Oreo you know and love, but it has this popping candy. My mouth is literally popping off right now. Bring these to a barbecue. This is a yes. So I was walking down the chip aisle and I saw these two flavors and I thought, what is happening there? So naturally I bought them because that's just what you do. First up, we have the Kroger brand Prime Rib Horseradish Chip. What the F is this? And then we have Ruffles Loaded Bacon and Cheddar Potato Skins. Can either of these chips taste like what they promise to be? I don't know, but I'm willing to find out. Kroger knows how to make a chip bag easy to open. And I respect that. All right. So far they just smell like a peppery potato chip. Oh my Lord. What is happening? This tastes like it's meat off the grill. And just a little bit of horseradish. Kroger, bravo! This is exactly what it promises to be. And I have mixed feelings about it. The vegans at your barbecue are not gonna like this. Next, we have Ruffles loaded bacon and cheddar potato skins. I mean, could it really be bad? Ruffles, that also opened with ease, thank you. Ooh, I smell the cheddar, I do. Has little flecks, let's see. Where's the bacon? I'm waiting for it. I'm not getting it. There is very little that distinguishes this loaded cheddar and bacon potato skin ruffles and a regular cheddar ruffles. It's the same thing. If you wanna go to this 4th of July barbecue and really get people talking about a snack especially, bring the Kroger brand prime rib and horseradish potato chip. It's gonna blow people's minds because it's just, how, how is it possible to even put a prime rib flavor on a chip? I don't know, but Kroger figured it out. To complete a rousing day of 4th of July snacking, you really need a good sweet treat. So here we have drumstick, and not just a classic drumstick, this is a new s'mores flavor. And then we have the old standby, the bomb pop. Let's see if it's still the bomb. <laughs> drumstick s'mores toasted marshmallow with fudge. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. <laughs> I cannot believe that these come so conveniently packaged. Mm. 
I have really sensitive teeth, so I have to be careful with ice cream. <laughs> Drumsticks have been around forever for a reason. They're so freaking good. I can't believe that you can get this ice creamery deliciousness in a little package like this. These do not get enough credit. I'm going to have a stomach ache after this, but it's okay. And next, the original Bomb Pop. Is it still the bomb? Oh, that's the bottom. My struggle with opening things continues. I'm a little disappointed this is not enough cherry flavor for me and I'm like eager to get to the lime flavor. No sane person should eat a popsicle like this, by the way. I'm doing this for flavor's sake. Mm. That lime, so good. I would lob off the cherry part. I do not like cherry flavored things. And I'm just going right for this. That's all you need. Not really. <laughs> I say bring both of these to the party because you will have friends who want something that's creamy and chocolatey and a little bit more indulgent. And that's why the drumstick is so wonderful. And then there will be other people who just want something icy and fruity and refreshing. And the bomb pop does stand the test of time. So I say bring both and have extremely happy friends. Add a little 4th of July flavor to the party you're going to. To all you adorable snack faces out there, have a happy and safe 4th of July and snack it up. It's time for snacks, okay? So make sure you're following me here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kaylee Harless. Follow me at The Snack Face on Instagram. And please comment below with your favorite 4th of July snacks. I always love to know what everyone else is snacking on too. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time on Snack Break.